So, y'all know what it is, man. We got the second trailer for season two of Stargirl on the CW. Hopefully, the trailer's good. We see some more of Jade, the female Green Lantern. Let's go. Okay, we got the charge moment from the end of the first season. Yeah, I say you're done. I beat Grundy. And Cindy Berman probably got crushed when the dish caved in. No, nah, she's still alive. 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 Dragon King is dead. Tigress and Sportsmaster, they're locked up. We're the Justice Society of America. We can't quit. Okay, she hold on. She hold on. She's been touched by an angel. <laughs> you got a responsibility in school. I think you're looking for trouble, Court. You have to decide if putting on that mask is worth messing up everything else in your life. She don't want to let go. Well, she holding on tight right now. You did? takes a back seat. It's about finding a balance. Jade. August 10th. Wow. Damn, right around the corner. The staff chose me for a reason that goes beyond the Injustice Society. Yeah. Real talk. Who are you? Green Lantern's daughter. Okay, I like how they There's just be real vague. <laughs> Why is he in Blue Valley? Alan Scott's daughter. Something very bad. Yeah. We're never gonna stop fighting to protect the world from people like you. I ain't gonna catch. Don't you teach these children any manners? The Green Lantern shit looks really good. Star Girl. New episodes start August 10th. Free next day only on the CW app. All right, y'all. Look, man. Uh, being being honest, man. You know, Star Girl definitely took me by surprise when it came out. When did it come out? It came out last year. It came out last year. Definitely took me by surprise. Um, arguably the second best show that DC Comics related on a CW after Superman and Lois. You know. Hey, 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 ain't gonna cap. You know, that's my that's my favorite show on television right now. But Star Girl was so damn good, bro. And it looks like season two is gonna be even better. Because now it looks like we'll have a villain that hopefully is gonna be better fleshed out than Um Icicle was from season one. Cause if if you haven't seen season one, I don't know why you're watching this, but if you haven't seen season one. And you're like, hey, the villains, what kind of stories? No. Don't don't come for the villains. <laughs> Icicle is the definition of pathetic. My man gets ran over by a car, and that's the end of his story. <laughs> he gets hit by a Ford pickup truck. Some old 2002 truck hit his ass and smashed him up into little bitty pieces. So the villains were nothing special, but... You know, the effects, the acting, um, the relationship between Courtney and her stepdad was terrifically written. I felt it. Um, it was fantastic, man. And season two looks like it's going to give us an even better connection this time to her mother. You have to decide if putting on that mask is worth messing up everything else in your life. Because last season, she really had a heavy connection, like I said, to her stepdad. Not so much to her mom, but of course her mom, knowing who she is, knowing what she does, that relationship is going to blossom to another level. Jay, the daughter of Alan Scott. I like how in the trailer, <laughs> they didn't try to get too technical because sometimes these trailers can confuse people who are in the general audience by throwing too much at you. So instead of her coming out and saying, I'm Alan Scott's daughter. Who the hell is that? <laughs> so, just saying, you're the Green Lantern's daughter. Okay, most people in the GA at least know Green Lantern has a fucking green ring and shit. Okay, they at least know that. Now, as far as what type of constructs we're going to get, I don't know. I don't know. Part of me wants to go crazy because we know the lanterns can go crazy. It's unlimited potential because it's only limited to your imagination and how fast you can think up of something. 
That's what makes their power set so interesting. The constructs we're going to get will probably be baseline stuff, right? A sword, a shield, uh, an energy blast, maybe a gigantic hand or fist. Um, maybe something cartoony like springs to have somebody go up in the air. You know, it won't be anything too crazy, I don't think, because one, it's a TV show, but also because this is the first time that a lantern in full-fledged power has been able to be adapted for television. When you think about Crisis on Infinite Earths and the quick little clip we saw of Oa, that was from the movie that we ain't gonna never talk about. That was from the movie. So the characters of the Lantern world haven't really been on television much at all over the years, right? And John Diggle don't count. He don't count. <laughs> they haven't really been on television. So for Jay to be here is a really, really, really big move. You know, it shows a lot of trust and belief Warner Brothers has in the Star Girl show, right? They they heard them reviews. They heard that reception and was like, all right, y'all can have Jay. That's cool. That's really cool. I love that shit. I play that shit in my fucking sleep. I, I like where the story's going, you know, as far as Courtney having trouble with transitioning back to a normal life. Because a lot of times when you have these teenage heroes, they kind of go through life with this emptiness until they get said ability, until they get said power, until they get said skill set. It fills that void. And then from there, it kind of gives them this almighty purpose for the rest of their life. But Courtney's being told like, hey, math homework. <laughs> and Courtney's like, uh, Cosmic Staff. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit, and I feel on it. Like, once you get abilities like that, bruh, do you really want to go back to an ordinary square life? No. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to go rob a bank, and then I'm going to go chill in the middle of the Dubai Ocean with 25 Instagram models. Now, I might need to pop me some uh, gas station pills <laughs> to hit all 25, but we doing it. We doing it. We doing it. You dig? So I like where her story is going, man, and where it's going to hopefully evolve from there. Like I said, best damn show on the CW that ain't Superman and Lois. All right, don't fight about that in the comment section. We better than that. We better than that. All right, it's been weird, but it's been real. Um, I ain't got nothing to say, man. Last video today, bruh. And I'm... Um, woo! Bye, bitch.